Okay, hello, my name is Mint T, and this bat is here not only to remind us of the inevitability of death, but also to remind us that Halloween is super fun, and also this time to remind us of vampires, because today we will be talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer and my favorite Buffy Halloween special. Now, I must say that Buffy is just a generally good show to watch in the fall because it's about monsters and school and stuff. But Buffy has a few Halloween specials and I think that season four, episode four, Fear Itself is probably the best spookiest one. If you haven't seen Buffy before, here is some background on the characters because you need to know it. It's not episodic. It is it is continuous storyline. So we have Buffy. She's a vampire slayer. Wow. Which means that she is like this little superhero. She fights vampires and other demons around town. And she has a friend named Willow who is a aspiring witch. She can do a little bit of witch stuff, but she is kind of on her own with it, you know? So she, her skills are um, new. <laughs> then they have Xander, who is a normal old human. He doesn't have any superpowers and he doesn't have any ambitions. He's just a guy. Willow has a boyfriend named Oz, who is a werewolf, who is very chill otherwise. Xander has a girlfriend named Anya, and that is very new at this time. She is a former vengeance demon, so she used to like grant wishes of vengeance from women who were wronged by a husband or a boyfriend, and it's the whole thing that you find out in season three. So she's a little weird because she's like from like the 1800s or something, and she doesn't really know what modern life is like, so she acts a little funny. Uh, not that they all don't, it's Buffy. Um, and then we have our two older cast members. We have Giles, who is Buffy's watcher. So he was the school librarian at her high school and now he's just kind of like the knowledge guy. He guides her, he tells her about like new demons and how to fight them and stuff like that. And then Buffy's mom, who's just a normal old human. I think that's all the characters you need to know about main cast. In this particular episode, Buffy is upset because she's new in college and she used to have like this long-term boyfriend in high school but he was a vampire and it didn't end well. And then so she finds this new guy and then they hook up but he doesn't, he's not interested in her and he ghosts her and everyone's like mad at him for that and Buffy is depressed and she thinks that everybody's gonna leave her and there's no hope or point and being a slayer is such a burden. That's pretty much her, uh, which, her catchphrase. She hates being the slayer. She's like, you know, I watched this first in high school and I did not think the show was that angsty. I just rewatched this episode Boy, is it angsty, goodness gracious, how angsty was I? If this is how angsty the show is and I didn't even notice. Now we have some background, so we hop right in. Buffy is depressed, she's sad. She doesn't feel like going out partying. She doesn't feel like hanging out with her friends because she feels like everybody, you know, doesn't like her anymore and, and what's even the point? And she tries so hard and everybody just leaves, you know. Things are really dramatic when you're 18 and a slayer. The gang wants to go to a frat party and this frat party is supposed to be like super lit. But these frat guys, they're like, this isn't scary enough. They're setting up this party and it looks too like cheesy and they want to make it scarier. And this one guy finds like this little spell book and he's like, this little symbol is pretty scary. It's like a little pentagram type type deal. I don't know. It's not exactly, but it's like spooky like that. And they paint it on the floor in the house just to like liven up the place. But, rut row, that little symbol was real and these they're tinkering with real little demon stuff and it causes all the decorations to come to life in the house and the house is going haywire. 
So the gang arrives at the party and it's like a maze. Like they just keep walking around in circles and they can't find the front door, they can't find the stairs, they can't find whatever. And this is like causing a bunch of tension between everybody because like they're already moody. Buffy's super moody and Willow's like, shut up. And Xander's like, you guys are college students and, and, and you don't like me anymore because I'm not a college student and you're gonna leave without me. Leave without me? You're gonna, you're gonna abandon me. The theme of today's story is abandonment. And what's scarier than that? Okay, so they're fighting. Willow is like, I want to try new spells and I think that will help us out. And Buffy's like, you're an idiot. Um, your spells won't work, dummy. And then Willow's like, that's mean. Like, I can totally do it. And then they all get separated in this house, all grumbling. Oz starts to transform into a werewolf and Willow's spell doesn't work and Buffy has no friends and she like is chased by these zombies and stuff and Xander is invisible and it's like all their greatest fears come to life like what if I'm not a good witch and what if I'm gonna hurt my friends because I'm a werewolf and what if what if I'm invisible and 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 they don't even like me anymore and and they're just gonna forget about me and Buffy's like I, I'm constantly fighting these freaking monsters and and I'm all alone in it and nobody even cares yeah, it's very angsty. Uh, that's the word of the day. <laughs> then the house, you know, it screws them all up. They're all miscombobulated and freaked out and sad and scared and all kinds of stuff. And they all end up in the attic where the sign was written on the floor. In the meantime, Xander's girlfriend, Anya, couldn't get in the house. Like, she came too late to the party. She couldn't get in the house. She goes and sees Giles to see what to do. And Giles is like, oof. Um, if the door and windows are disappearing on the house, then this is probably some sort of, you know, magic do do hickey thing. So then he grabs his little books and they head off to the house. The gang is trapped in the attic, but now they're all reunited, so that's, that's good. And Giles bursts in through the door, through the wall that he created with a chainsaw. So, goody. Giles is like, this is this little demon thing. Um, it's, a, it's a fear monger. It feeds on fear. Um, and that's why y'all are scared. And I think it's really cute because the episode is called Fear Itself. And it's like, you know, like there's nothing to fear but fear itself because the fear is causing the demon to get stronger. Just like an it, he feeds on fear too. He manifests fears and, and stuff. I'm not gonna spoil the ending because it's funny. So go watch the ending. All in all, they defeat the demon and uh, hooray. I would say that this is probably the best Buffy Halloween special because it is spooky. It's got like these decorations that come to life. It's like a maze. Everybody's mad at each other. And what's scarier than the fear of abandonment? You know, nothing. I think it's definitely not like a super fun spooky episode, uh, but aesthetically excellent. Like, wow, the Halloween decorations, the set design, the little monsters, it's fantastic. I love it. I love the concept of like Halloween decorations coming to life. I think that's way more fun than, you know, turning into your costume. That's an in joke. But yeah, that's a great one. I would say that season four is chock full of good Halloween episodes. It features Hush which is nominated for a few Emmys. It's like silent. It's very funny, it's very spooky. It's very like nightmare-y. And if you also like nightmares and dreams and stuff like that, they also have the episode Restless, Rest, Restless, which is the season finale. And you get to see all the characters' dreams. And they're pretty funny. Made a little space for the cheese slices. Just like a side note, Buffy is like way quirkier than I remember the show, not the character necessarily. But like I, re I knew that like, like they say a lot of funny slang that they make up, but I didn't realize that it's every single line of the show. And they also love to mumble, so you really have to pay attention. Or on the flip side, you could just like not pay attention and just like leave it on in the background. And then you could just like enjoy the vibes 
and not the dialogue because I already told you what the plot was so congrats oh and season four also it's not a spooky episode but it's called something blue and it's fantastic probably the best my favorite episode of the whole show season four is super rewatchable go check it out if you haven't seen Buffy or if you have maybe you want to revisit it I guess that's all for now. Happy Halloween. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheep, 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 cheep. What do bats, how do bats sound? Yeah.